Welcome to a video taking a look at enlargement. Here we're asked to enlarge by a scale factor of 2 centre O. So enlargement is kind of fairly straightforward. It does what it says on the tin in that we are going to be taking this shape here and we are going to be changing the size of it. So how we're going to be changing the size of it is dependent on our scale factor. Now here we're told that we've we want to enlarge the shape by a scale factor of 2. That means that this shape here needs to become twice as large. So if my number there would be 2, the shape would become twice as large. If it was a 3, it would become 3 times as large. Uh, be careful though, sometimes you might get a scale factor of say a half. That means it becomes half as large. So in fact it would become smaller. So just be careful if it's a fraction. So we're being asked to enlarge by a scale factor of 2 and then the second key thing here is that it says centre O. This just means that our enlarged shape has to be anchored to this centre. So there's a couple of ways that we could go about doing this. The way that I like to do it and quite a nice way to do it I think is to look at each of the vertices, so each of the corners of our shape. Now. <clears throat> Because I'm enlarging by a scale factor of 2, all that I'm going to do is I'm going to move each of the vertices on my shape twice as far away from that centre. So if I take this first one, okay, so this one here, one that I've kind of coloured in blue, okay, let's measure the distance from my centre to that, that um, corner. So I'm going one square down and I'm moving one, two, three squares across. So the distance for, of this corner from the origin, from the centre, is one down and three across. Now I'm being asked to enlarge by a scale factor of two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my new corner for my new shape, my enlarged shape, twice as far away as this point here. So doing that means instead of going down by 1, I'm going to go down by 2. And then instead of going across by 3, I'm going to go twice as far, so I'm going to go 6. So my new point is going to be on this point here. Okay, let's do um, the others. So let's take a look. Let's take a look, say, at this point down the bottom now. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the distance from my centre to this corner point here. So how many down is it? One, two, three, four down. And then how far across? one two three again so it's a scale factor of two so all that I'm going to do is I'm going to double the distance that this point here is away from my origin so let's do that so one two three four so I need to double this so I need to go another four one two three four so I've gone eight in total so I've gone eight down and now how far do I need to go across? Well, it goes across by 3, so I'm going to have to double that distance. I'm going to have to go across 1, 2, 3, and then another 3. 1, 2, 3. So I'll have gone 6 across in total. So I've just doubled the distance. Then I'm going to mark that point. Now, let's take a look at a third point. Let's do um, let's do this one here. Let's do this one in the top left corner. So I'm going to go down by one, and then across by one, two, three, four, five. So to get to that point there, I've had to go from the centre O. I've had to go one down and five across. So to get my new point, I'm going to have to go down twice as far. So instead of going down one, I'll be going down two. 
and then instead of going across by 5 I'm going to be going across by 10 so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so this gives me the new point on my enlarged shape okay now once you've done a few of them you can kind of start to see where the last point will go and so I can see because this is a rectangle it's going to go directly under here and it, the last point is going to be there so then once I found all of these um, new vertices all of these new corners to my shape I then connect the dots together and that gives me my enlarged shape now what I should find is hopefully this shape here should be twice as big as this one now I can measure that I can see if I've done it correctly by taking this original shape and just seeing is my shape here twice as big well I can see here that the width of this shape here is two squares the width of this shape here is one two three four so yes the width of it is twice as large is the length of it so one two three this one here is got a length of three this one has got one two three four five six is six twice as big as three yes it is so that means that I've done this shape correct so what I could say is that I've now enlarged the uh, shape that's in red here by a scale factor of two about the center O okay let's take a look at our second example here so I'm just going to do exactly the same thing um, this time I'll, I might color coordinate my point so I'm going to have I'll have this point here in blue I'll have this point here in that orangey color and then I'll have this last point in yellow now I'm just going to do exactly the same thing I'm going to measure each of the points from the center O so one two across and one up to get to that blue point now here I need to enlarge by a scale factor of three that means that I need to um, take the distance from the center to each of the vertices on my shape and instead of doubling it like we did last time when it was a scale factor of two I'm going to times it by three this time so I'm going to treble it so let's do that so I've gone across by two I need to go three times as far as two so three times as far as two would be six so two four six I need to go six across and then I went one up to get to the blue on this one so I need to go up by three times as much as that so I need to go up by three so that gives me the first of my new vertices let's do it for the other two points so let's go to the green, um, the orange one now so what is the distance from this point here to the orange point now for this one I don't need to go across any my center is directly below the um, orange corner point here so I'm not going to have to go across any I'm only going to have to go up how far up am I going one uh, sorry one two three four I'm going up by five so I'm enlarging by a scale factor of three so instead of going up by five I now need to go three times as far as that so three times as far as five is going to be fifteen so five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so this orange corner my new version of that is going to be at that point there okay and let's take a look lastly at our yellow point so a yellow point we've gone two across and we've gone one two three upwards so I'm going to have to treble that distance so I went two across I'm going to have to go across by six two four six and I'm going to have to go up by treble three so take three and times it 
by three and go one, two, three. I'm going to have to go up to nine. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So my new yellow corner point is going to go in that position there. And then once I've worked out each of these points, I'm simply going to connect them with my ruler. And that is going to give me a shape that is exactly identical to this shape here. It's just three times as large. 